Hey guys, serious panic in Asuruk as fearless Simon Ekba shocks Tinubu's government Nigerians. What he did is really unbelievable. Simon Ekba took unbelievable action that is giving Nigerian government serious headache. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Simon Ekba, he prominent Biafra agitator and served as and the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Ezai Bridge, has imposed a ban on government construction projects in Imo states. Ekba's directive follows claims that the Nigerian government was planning to establish a refugee, migrant, and internally displaced persons IDP camp at the Nosu Hemira Emi Mbano Study Center of the National Open University of Nigeria. In a statement posted on his ex formerly Twitter account, Simon Ekba declared the prohibition of any further government led building activities in the state. He justified the ban as a measure to safeguard the lives and properties of Biafrans living in Imo states. According to him, the government's alleged plans pose a security risk to the region's residents. For the security of Biafrans, there will be no further building projects by the Nigerian government in Imo state from today, whether directly or by prosy. Ekba stated, he went on to emphasize that the Biafran government, which he represents, would take responsibility for building the state should the need arise. Ekba also voiced concerns over the potential training of Boko Haram members in the state, which he strongly opposed, stating, you will never bring in Boko Haram to train in Imo state. The controversy surrounding Simon Ekba's declaration was further fueled by a viral video that claimed the Nigerian government intended to establish an IDP camp in Imo State. The video has stirred unrest among the state's indigenous population, with many expressing concerns about the implications of such a project. However, the Imo State Governor has officially denied these allegations, dismissing the claims as baseless. The administration has made it clear that there are no plans to build an IDP camp or any related facility in the area, urging residents to disregard the rumors and focus on the state's ongoing development projects. Meanwhile, in another developing news, President Bola Tinubu has delivered a resolute measure to terrorists and their bandits wrecking havoc across Nigeria, urging them to surrender to security forces or face severe repercussions. This statement was made during the inaugural Nan Anwa International Lecture held in Abuja, which centered on the team insecurity in, in the Shehe 2008 to 2024. Directing Nigerians' challenges, genesis, impacts, and options. In his speech, the president underscored that his administration has taken significant steps over the past years, employing both kinetic and non kinetic strategies to address security threats throughout the nation. He highlighted the comprehensive approach adopted under the Renewed Hope Agenda, emphasizing that security is a core priority of governance. Tinubu outlined a range of process, policies, and programs designed to bluster security, stimulate economic growth, and enhance the quality of life for all Nigerians. He pointed out the urgent need to confront groups like Boko Haram, which he described as destructive forces undermining daily life, commerce, education, healthcare, and transportation systems. The president ascertained that the ongoing turmoil faced by Nigerians 
over the last 15 years must come to an end. On the issue of kidnappings for ransom, Tinubu issued a stark warning to those involved in such criminal activities, stating that their time for accountability is drawing near. He urged individuals engaged in such acts to ab abandon their pursuit if they wish to safeguard their lives. The president noted that significant strides have been made in dismantling criminal gangs presenting an opportunity for these individuals to pursue peaceful alternatives available through government initiatives. Tinubu expressed optimism as he observed a growing trend of individuals in northern Nigeria returning to their communities following improvement in security. This return is expected to have a positive impact on food production and overall stability in the region. He pointed out that kidnapping has emerged as a major economic crime in Nigeria, overtaking traditional offenses such as armed robbery. He cautioned those involved in this illicit trade to cease their activities immediately or face the full uh, uh, weight of the law, assuring citizens that this his administration is recently committed to eradicating the crime. So guys, what's your take on this? Please, uh, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please share this video, let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.